thank you all for um taking the time to to um listen to our presentation our presentation is going to be on continuous audit and continuous monitoring um presented by jack christoph and felix mcintosh Okay. Um, but before we get into continuous auditing and continuous uh, monitoring, I think it would be good if, um, a good idea for you first to um, uh, define what an audit actually is. Okay. Okay. Um, an audit is an objective review and assessment activity independent of management with the objective of identifying weaknesses and processes um, and opportunities for improvement. There are several examples of audit types. Um, some include internal audit, external audit, IRS tax audit, financial audit, operational audit, compliance audit, information systems audit, payroll audit, as well as pay audit. Um, and now we're gonna just go right into what continue, uh, continuous auditing is. Continuous audit has similarities to traditional auditing because continuous auditing aims to identify weaknesses and process and processes and seeks opportunities for improvement. Continuous audit is an internal process that examines accounting practices, risk controls, and business procedures on an ongoing basis. Continuous aud audits are technology driven and designed to automate error checking and data verification in real time. Additionally, a continuous audit driven system generates alarm triggers that provide notice about anomalies and errors detected by the system. Continuous auditing is not to be confused with computer aided auditing. Um, as in, in computer aided auditing, the auditor is simply being assisted by technology. Um, an example of that would be um, spreadsheets to, uh, to complete periodic audits. Computer-aided auditing is driven solely by the auditor, while continuous auditing is meant to run automatically at regular and tight intervals. And a traditional auditing, um, a, tr a traditional auditing of departments normally um, have a set schedule to do its work, whether monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or even annually. An individual or team spends time in each area to gather information, review and analyze data, and publish their reports for management and the audit committee of the board of directors. A continuous audit is implemented via technology, and these many logs, many logs assist the internal auditor or auditors in between their regularly scheduled formal audits. Whereas a continuous audit is an automated and ongoing process, a continuous audit enables internal audit to continually gather and process data that supports auditing activities. Continuous audit, again, is an automated ongoing process that enables internal to collect from process processes, transactions, and accounts data that supports internal and external auditing activities, achieve a more timely, less costly compliance with policies, procedures, and regulations, shift from cyclical or episodic reviews with limited focus to continuous, broader, more proactive reviews, evolve from a traditional static annual audit plan to a more dynamic plan based on continuous auditing results. Reduce audit costs while increasing effectiveness through IT solutions. And, and now we're gonna go more into the um, continu uh, continuous monitoring. Continuous monitoring allows management to continually review business processes for adherence to and deviations from their intended levels of performance and effectiveness. Continuous monitoring allows management to determine more quickly and accurately where it should be focusing attention and resources in order to improve its processes. 
implement course corrections, address risks, launch initiatives to better enable the business to achieve its goal. Continuous monitoring is an automated ongoing process that enables management to assess the effectiveness of control and detect associated risk issues, improve business process and activities while adhering to ethical and compliance standards, execute more timely, quantitative and qualitative risk-related decisions, increase the cost effectiveness of controls and monitoring through IT solutions. We, we, uh, we would like to um, give you an example of real life marketing for continuous auditing and continuous monitoring technology. Hello, everybody. My name is Felix McIntosh, and I'll be continuing from with my colleague Jack Ennett. So, uh, continuous audit and continuous monitoring adapted today. Even though there are many business executives who understand the importance of adapting continuous audit and continuous monitoring in the wake of very risk and increasing need to meet regulations, there are just few of them that have adapted the program. Executives should adapt continuous audit to enhance an ongoing audit process of internal audit and continuous monitoring to maintain conformity to its goals on an ongoing basis. When a management is not decided on improving its operations, reducing risk, and meeting its objective in a timely fashion, continuous auditing and continuous monitoring are the programs to adapt. While these two programs are separate, continuous audit is concerned with audit and continuous monitoring is concerned with management. Next, can you give me the next slide, Jack? So risk, risk intelligence approach in continuous audit and continuous monitoring. Deloitte, for example, has adopted continuous audit and continuous monitoring by supporting the risk intelligence enterprise, which brings together Deloitte's philosophy of risk and approach to risk. Risk intelligence approach is different from, rational, from traditional approaches to risk in that it provides an integrated risk management framework in which top managers and employees can recognize and manage risk at a period levels of operation in decision making. Various auditing and continu continuous auditing and continuous monitoring systems and techniques should be guided by risk intelligence practice. So factors that necessitate the implementation of continuous audit and continuous monitoring in today's business environment. The growing demand for faster, better decisions and cost-effective risk management. The increasing pressure on internal audit to provide assurance to stakeholders, the rising complexity in change in re regulatory requirements, the more effect to align internal audit activities with management's strategic goals. So these are just uh, implementation uh, model, the five stages of this model, and then it speaks about the the development of the business case, and this can be implemented by management on its own. There is no standard format that I want to follow, but management can choose its own style of implementation. And then uh, it has to do with the plan and design and implementation, uh, build and implement the continuous monitoring and the continuous audit systems and their monitoring monitor performance and progress and refine as needed. Can you get me next slide? So how continuous auditing and continuous monitoring operate? Used for monitoring transaction, continuous audit and continuous monitoring is able to detect 
and report any potential deviation from management's policy. It's used for controlling first cost. It has the capability of automatically identifying and reporting cost of freight based on capacity, route, and destination and within a given period. Restricting breaches to authority, it's capable of continually monitoring spending approvals to an entity by authorized personnel and summarizes payments by entities, dates, and amounts. Protection by use of personal password allows management or internal audit to experiment, gain experience, and realize earning and incremental return. Obstacles to continuous audit and continuous monitoring being adopted today. Next slide. Okay. And confusion regarding the efficacy of enterprise resource planning and governance risk management and compliance systems, internal competition for resources and funds, executives perceived resource allocation, now, executives allocate resources uh, to initiatives that provide that they perceive as yielding the greatest return in keeping with their organization's goals and objectives. To commit or not to commit decisions. To commit resources to the implementation of continuous audit or continuous monitoring, executives need to be convinced on how continuous audit and continuous monitoring will improve their current risk management, internal controls, audit activities, and how implementation might proceed. Continuous audit and continuous monitoring consideration of risk versus management's consideration. Why continuous audit and continuous monitoring consider the entity's overall risk management at the operational level Management often look at risk management historic holistically, but fail to bring it to the operational level, even though that is where effective risk management occurs. So, possible solutions to the obstacles of continuous audit and continuous monitoring adoption today. If management asks themselves the following questions. It could drive the thinking of continuous audit and continuous monitor toward the operational level and subsequent adoption of the program. How do we currently monitor controls? How well do the entities controls currently function? How do we currently allocate internal audit resources? How do we determine that allocation is at optimal level? What cost and on internal risk, do our current methods of controls monitoring and auditing create? The above questions. I I, I have a question. Uh, I have a comment. Uh, the comment is: uh, I developed the first continuous auditing application known uh, from eighty six to ninety. And now, meaning 90, uh, 30 years later, uh, continuous auditing is a hot topic. So you have chose well your topic. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and you're going to read the outcome? Yeah. So, uh, so to provide an integrated risk management framework in which leaders and employees at all levels can recognize and manage risk in the decision making and operating activities. This brings us to the conclusion of our presentation. Chris and Thank you.